Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys have been hollering at me in the comments for this video, so today we're going to knock it out and get it done. But this video is going to be on the 204 Ruger and seeing how flat is it actually. So you guys have been telling me over and over, hey man, go check out the 204 Ruger and let's see how flat it actually is. So flat meaning it doesn't drop much over a uh, given distance. So on the box here, this box is saying between 100 yards and 200 yards, it's only supposed to have a 0.7 inch difference. So be between 100 yards and 200 yards, only 0.7 inches, which that's pretty wild. So most stuff like a, a 270, 30-06, it's gonna have like a four or five inch difference. And this is saying not even one inch on the box. Uh, but what we have here today, this is my Ruger American uh, 204 Ruger. It's the Predator model, which means it's got the green stock on there. Uh, pretty slick little job. I'm a big fan of Ruger Americans because uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, always been impressed. I've honestly never had a bad Ruger American. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I bought them all with my own moolahs. Uh, but... Got this 204 Ruger a little while ago. On top, I've got a Nikon Pro Staff P5. How many zoomies? It's got 16 zoomies, so plenty enough zooms for what we're going to do today. I'm going to take it out to 100 yards. This is sighted in with the 40 grain Hornady Super Performance. I'll pop up a picture right here of the box. Um, I'm going to verify my zero, make sure that we're not crazy far off um, before we start flinging a bunch of boo lots. Then, we're going to go out to 200 yards, and I'm going to do a five-shot group, first with the 32 grainers, and then with the 40 grainers, and we're going to see, hey, what's the difference between my 100-yard zero and then the 200-yard target? So you sight your bing-bang in at 100 yards, and you see a little prairie dog or a coyote out there at 200, what's the drop going to be? What's the holdover? Are you going to need to dial your scope? I don't know. But that's why we do these videos. So let's hit the range quick. 100 yard zero first. And then we're going to fling them at 200, both 32 grain and a 40 grain. Big shout out to Tools and Targets channel. Y'all go check him out and subscribe. He's the one that helped me find these boo lots. I couldn't find it in 204 Ruger. And he helped me find some. So y'all go subscribe to Tools and Targets. Air fist bump, my dude. Let's hit the range. Check out, is this baby bing bang still sighted in at 100? Yeah. Back from the range with the 204 Ruger, and I'm impressed. Uh, quite honestly, that thing blows my mind. Uh, unfortunately, in Tennessee, 204 Ruger is too small for deer hunting. I know a lot of you guys in other states have told me you take deer with 204 Ruger. Well, we can't do that in Tennessee. Tennessee, it has to be at least a 223 and a centerfire, which 204 Ruger is a centerfire, but it's smaller than 223. But... What happened at 100 yards? At 100 yards, here is our three shot group. A little bit low of center. We had two touching, uh, but that's probably about a half inch group. So super impressed with that right off the bat. And these were the 40 grainers. Uh, but then what happened at 200 yards? Let me grab this one. <clears throat> so here's the 200 yard target. Now remember, <clears throat> 
where our 100 yard average was, uh, about, about a half inch, three quarter inch low. Now here's the, the 32 grainers. We did a five shot group here, but look at where the average hit is, guys. So for this group, we had one flyer way out here, but that's a that's probably a point uh, three quarters of an inch group there with the 32 grainers. I'm gonna mark the average hit here. Eh. We'll make that purple dot the average and then draw a line over here. So there is our average hit out of that group. And it might actually be a little bit higher, but we're gonna roll with it. And then the 40 grainers, look at how it grouped. Interestingly enough, the 40 grainers um, did not group as well as the 32 grainers, but we're concerned with the drop in this video. So the average hit of these is probably close to that hole right there. So I'm gonna circle that hole, big old purple, and then we'll draw a line across. But what we're looking for in this video is drop. So remember, <clears throat> our 100 yard average was at the bottom of that circle. These are the same circles. So when you look at the drop for the 40 grainers, that's probably a half inch to three quarter inch drop. And for the 32 grainers, um, my test shows about a one inch drop. So what that box was saying we were looking at earlier with a less than a one inch difference, um, that's true guys. But hey, um, honestly didn't believe it, but that 204 Ruger, hey, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Um, pretty much you could hold the same at 200 um, unless you're hunting chipmunks. Um, that you have it for your 100 yard sight in. Um, I'm super, super impressed. So now we saw the real life uh, drop out there at the range. Let me do a drop calculator real quick. Um, I'll do. I'll go ahead and do one with the 32 grainer and the 40 grainer because if I don't, y'all are gonna ask and I'm gonna be curious. So let me do a drop chart really quick um, of the 32 grainers. And then the 40 grainers even further than 200 yards. I'm super curious to see it. Let's check this out quick. So I told you I was going to do a quick drop chart. This one right here is the 32 grainers. Look at how fast those are going. 42, 25 feet per second muzzle velocity. But mine sighted in at 100, like I said. Look at the drop to 200 yards. Only just over an inch. So very close to what we saw in the real world results, 300 yards, less than a six inch drop, 400 yards, 15 inch drop, 500 yards, less than three feet, and then all the way out to 1,374 inches. A look at the dials on your scope there. So if you got MOA or a mill scope, for 500 yards with these 32 grainers, you'd only have to dial 1.75 mils that is incredible this stuff is crazy flat and then you see the 32 grainers go beneath the sound barrier between 800 and 900 yards now let's look at the 40 grainers so here's the 40 grainers a little bit slower at the muzzle 3900 feet per second again sighted in at 100 at 200 it's only dropping 1.39 inches i'm going to skip to this part the heavier boo lots stay faster longer so it doesn't go beneath the sound barrier until between 900 and a thousand yards and it drops less at a thousand yards only 289 inches look at the mills you dial with the 40 grainers you dial eight mills to hit at a thousand yards that is absolutely incredible this stuff is crazy crazy flat and again they're at 500 yards you would dial only 1.75 mils. The 204 Ruger is absolutely incredible. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But really appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, tons of you guys have been requesting it. Finally wanted to knock this video out. But appreciate y'all watching. I'm very, very impressed with the 204 Ruger. That is, without a doubt, the flattest flinging round I have ever witnessed in my life. Um, now you guys are telling me there's a flatter one. 
I haven't bought that Bing Bang yet. It's a little bit harder to find um, and kind of expensive. But appreciate you guys watching. I absolutely love the 204 Ruger. Comment down below. Do you have one? Have you ever tried one? If it, have you ever hunted with it? Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm interested to take this one out hunting myself. Not deer, but coyotes uh, most likely here. But appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this. Appreciate y'all watching big time. We'll see you on the next one. 204 Ruger.